Hey, what's up? This is Fnac, and I'm doing another pickups video. Uh, first up is Codename Viper. Uh, I never played this as a kid, but I saw it, and the cover looked freaking uh, cool. It's basically it's by Capcom. It's a pretty good game. It's uh, it's basically a Rolling Thunder clone, but in my opinion, it's a good Rolling Thunder clone. But it's not as good as Rolling Thunder, so whatever. <laughs> but still, a pretty good game if you like that type of. Uh, kind of like action puzzle kind of game it's like a weird kind of game but they go into rooms and get machine guns and you have to save hostages and it's very it's very arcadey kind of thing but it's a pretty good game next up is a big favorite of mine friday the 13th i finally own this uh, i did a playthrough of this on how to beat it and i have fond memories of this i used to rent this a lot when i was a kid i never owned it though so I'm happy, very happy to uh, finally own it. It's one of those games that you have to play a lot. I've been playing this forever, so I know a lot about the game. But there is kind of a strategy in order to beat it. It's not as difficult as uh, I think some people let it on. If you know, there's a lot of playthroughs on online and tips or whatever. It's very easy to figure out once uh, you know what to do. But uh, really fun game. And probably like one of the first survivors, kind of like survival horror games, which is kind of very odd for the NES, but uh, good game. Ever Oasis. I only play this for like 10 minutes, but uh, it's kind of got a Secret of Mana vibe to it. So I'm interested in playing it, but uh, when I'll get to it, I never know because I, I don't know because I have so many ga games backlogged. I don't even know when I'm going to be able to even play it, but uh, I like the artwork and uh, hopefully it's a good game. Now, this is a game where uh, <laughs> I played it for an hour and it's one of those games, it's kind of like Twin Peaks. It's a very odd game. The, con the graphics are, like, really bad. The controls are all, all right, but uh, really, it's, I think it's the characters and the atmosphere that make this game. It's basically, it's almost like a Twin Peaks survival horror game. But uh, it's very interesting. I don't think it's, I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad, but I know it's polarizing. Like, some people like it, some people hate it. But I, li I do like it, even though I've only played it for a little bit. But uh, so far, it's a pretty solid game. And I started getting into Atari. So I got Joust for the Atari 2600. I have a modded uh, Vader version of the uh, Atari 2600. I just ordered a uh, 7800, so I will be picking up uh, games for that eventually. But uh, I got this complete in box. It looks pretty much brand new. And what's great about this is you can get dirt cheap. And as you can see, it's got the, uh, the game inside and the manuals over here. But uh, yeah, you can get sealed Atari games for like a hundredth of the price of uh, <laughs> of NES or a Super Nintendo game. So uh, I think I'm going to start collecting these because collecting for like, I have a big Genesis collection. It's probably the system I have one of the most of and it's not fun anymore because the game's overpriced and uh, I have most of the I basically have almost all the games that I really want or that are really good. Other games like Musha, you know, they're too expensive but uh, I think I'm going to start collecting a lot more Atari stuff because it's a lot cheaper. I love the art. So, uh, yeah, and then the games are pretty fun. They're, they're not meant to be played, like, they're meant to be played for, like, a couple of minutes, you know, 15, 20 minutes, and then you put you go on to the next game. So, basically, that's what I do. I, I, I'm going to get a bunch of games and just go through them. But uh, they're fun games. So, uh, yeah, so that was my uh, pickups for uh, this month, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, uh, thanks for watching.